Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are solving the problem from electric charges and fields. The problem is like this. There are three concentric metallic shells of radii R, 2R and 3R. These are the three shells. This is the shell one of radius R. This is the shell one of radius 2R. This is the bigger shell of radius 3R. All of them are having a common center. Concentric shells means that. They were given charges of Q1, Q2 and Q3 respectively. So we have shown that this is Q1, this is Q2 and this is Q3. It is found that the surface charge densities on the outer surfaces of the shells are equal. We need to remember what is the formula for the surface charge density. If we have not learned this earlier, we can say surface charge density is defined as charge per unit surface area is called as surface charge density. If that is the case, we need to find out the ratio of the given charges on these three concentric shells. That is the question. Well, the first thing that we need to understand is uh, whenever there is a charge, it obviously induces charge in the neighboring place. Mean to say what? This Q1 is there. Now, this, will, this will induction is a phenomenon of getting the charges separated in a neutral body in the presence of a charged body. So, Q1 is a charged body. It will induce a charge of minus Q1 inside the second shell's surface, inner surface, and then plus Q1 on the outer surface. In the other sense, if you have to understand this in the other way, you can say shells always keeps the surface, keeps the charge on the surface. Why like so? If they are on the surface, they are at a larger distance. Being there at a larger distance of separation, the force of repulsion between them is minimum, so that they are stable. So, if you observe in the other way, this Q1 and minus Q1 together cancels. So, inside the second shell, there is no charge actually. All that charge of that Q1 is actually shifted to the surface of the second shell. That is another way of looking at it. Of course, again, this Q1 on the second shell surface will induce, induce a charge of minus Q1 on the inner surface of the second shell and automatically plus Q1 on the other side of the shell so that the charge is conserved. So, this Q1 he has ultimately finally shifted to the surface of the uppermost or the biggest shell. It is not there anywhere in the in between the shells rather it has reached the surface. Similarly, we can say this Q2 has introduced induced a charge of minus Q2 inside the inner surface of the second shell and then plus Q2 on the surface of the third shell. Of course, Q3 is already on the surface, therefore no induction is further going to happen inside. Induction always happens to onto the outer surfaces, therefore charge always resides on the surfaces of the spherical shells. And it is further, so it could be understood that on the surface of on the surface of first sphere, first shell charge that is there is Q1. On the surface of second shell charge is see there is this Q1 which is coming out of the say first surface and there is this uh, Q2 also. So, it has a charge of Q1 plus Q2. Similarly, on the surface of the third shell, there is a charge of this Q2 is there, this Q3 is there, this Q1 is also there. Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3. And we can write automatically charge densities. That implies the surface charge densities 
of course it is given that the surface charge densities are equal sigma 1 equal to sigma 2 equal to sigma 3 sigma is a general representation of a charge so surface charge density on the first shell is charge on the first shell or innermost shell is q1 and its area is surface area is 4 pi r square on the case of the second shell there is a charge of q1 plus q2 and the corresponding surface area is 4 pi into 2r whole square that is equal to the surface charge density of the third shell outermost shell the charge on the outermost shell is q1 plus q2 plus q3 and the surface area is 4 pi of 3r by whole square so if you cancel these 4 pi r squares everywhere what will be remaining is q1 by 1 equal to q1 plus q2 by 4 these two square now 4 equal to q1 plus q2 plus q3 divided by 9 if this is the case we need to find out what is the ratio of q1 is to q2 is to q3 at least we will do one simple calculation from these two i can write q1 plus q2 by q1 is nothing but equal to 4 is to 1 cross multiply this 4 q1 equal to q1 plus q2 that implies 3 q1 equal to q2 that implies q1 by q2 is nothing but equal to 1 is to 3 q1 by q2 is nothing but equal to 1 is to 3 similarly we can prove the other part also therefore we will be finding that the ratio of the charges on these three spherical shells q1 is to q2 is to q3 is 1 is to 3 is to 5 by equating the other two you will get this answer also that's how we can solve the problem thank you for watching keep coming back for more and more video lessons anyway we have made a detailed video on the electric induction in the previous uh, uh, parts of this lesson we can have a look and see in that respective playlist thank you for watching keep coming back for more and more video lessons thank you